outside of sub-Saharan Africa, key populations and their sexual partners account for 80% of new HIV infections. According to the UNAIDS, gay men and other men who have sex with men, sex workers, transgender people, people who inject drugs and prisoners, and other incarcerated people make up the five main key population groups. Most of them come from environments where they are marginalized or in some cases criminalized, making it difficult for them to access services. Sometimes we have a law that makes a particular population illegal, and yet the police and the, and, the, and the enforcement of those laws is not always carried out completely. So in many countries in Africa, despite laws um, against men having sex with men, there are projects, there are networks where services are being provided. And if we don't do that, HIV will continue to spread in our community. Considered a human rights and a health issue, Peter says there needs to be a balance as far as providing services for the key populations and the laws so that no one is left behind in the fight against the epidemic. Globally, around 1.7 million people became newly infected with HIV in 2018, a 16% decline since 2010, driven mostly by steady progress across most of Eastern and Southern Africa. We see in the report from UNAIDS that progress is patchy. Overall, the number of new infections is coming down, but it's coming down too slowly. And in some parts of the world, it's actually going up. And in other parts of the world, it's continuing to fall more quickly. So I think what we're learning is that the HIV epidemic is changing. We've, we've dealt with some of the easiest parts, and now we have to push hard to control HIV in the more difficult parts of the epidemic. Despite the difficulty in reaching the 2020 target set by UNAIDS, the progress made has to be recognized. However, researchers warn of complacency. Winnie Lubembe for Ebru TV.